Hey guys and welcome to this new video. I'm Ray and I'm gonna tell you how to do all kinds of different bosses. Now this is one of my new series so uh, yeah if you're not familiar with my series just go to my channel you'll see some of my different series some of my Road to Torva and some guides I make, some skill guides, minigame guides, everything you need to know uh, is there. But this is a new series, this is all boss monsters from level 1 to level 120. Of course I'm not level 120 yet so I can't make the last ones but this is the first uh, guide of the series. This is going to show you how to do all the bosses from level 1 um, or from level f from floor 1 uh, till floor 25. You'll see all the pictures on screen right now. Click on any of the pictures to automatically go there um, if you want one specific boss, if you're at the boss chamber already and you want to know how to do a specific boss or just watch the video and you'll c come to know how to do every boss what to pray and what his weakness is so sure go ahead and click on any boss if you want to know how to kill it or just watch the video and you'll see them all uh, after each other first of all we have the luminous ice find now uh, the luminous ice find can only be found on the frozen floors it only attacks with ranged and magic and every now and then with melee but that's really often uh, or really not often sorry um, you should pray range his range attack is will hit the highest um, it can also do a special attack where it will be invulnerable and it will shoot some ice particles into the sky which will fall on your head if you don't run away these this special attack cannot kill you it can bring you down to um, at least 10 life points as you can see right here I got hit but it cannot kill me um, so yeah now as I recommend with every boss uh, use turmoil if you can or piety if you have it and if you need to heal up use soul split don't feel, feel afraid to use soul split if you have it but it shouldn't be too hard um, it will do this a couple times uh, within the fight so make sure you have you have your cursor ready to uh, run away already and once it is one hit point it will do one last one as you can see right here do, do long, uh, run one last one so uh, yeah you should just run away, run around the corners and you would be fine and then just kill it off with another turmoil hit and that's the Luna's Ice Find, quite easy now the next one is Icy Bones, Icy Bones can hit uh, a, a melee attack and can hit a range attack the melee attack will hit through prayer every now and then so it is advised you pray uh, melee but make sure you don't uh, aren't on like one life point and think you can just tank it because you have your prey melee on uh, it is not that hard also as I said use with every boss if you have the prayer potion just use turmoil if you have it otherwise just pray melee it shouldn't be too hard uh, you can only encounter this boss on the frozen floors and only you can already do it from floor one so this one shouldn't be too hard you shouldn't have too much difficulty beating this one the next one is Astea Frostweb. Now this is kind of embarrassing, but I couldn't. I have been there for about two hours and I couldn't even encounter it once. So I don't have any footage of me killing it, but I will explain you step by step how to do it and what to pray and stuff like that. Now first of all, uh, you can encounter her only at the frozen floors, already at level 1, so yeah, be careful. This is actually the hardest one in my opinion from the three starter bosses. Um, she will switch between three prayers magic melee and ranged so you will need at least two attack styles to keep killing it at a steady rate it will also summon some ice spiders which aren't too high of a level but since you uh, will need to pray magic um, once you will be killing her because that's her only attack style so you will be fully protected against her attacks since you will be praying uh, magic the ice spiders will, can hit quite a bit on you but since it is a low level boss she shouldn't be too hard so you uh, wouldn't have that much time killing her and uh, yeah so uh, on to the next one now the next one is the plane freezer now this one is the reason I gave it the difficulty rating of 3 out of 5 not because it's that difficult or it dies so many times just because it's so annoying as you see in the clip it will keep um, pushing you back and especially if you're not with range and only with melee even though I do recommend range if you have it um, it will be so annoying killing this one and it will be so well not really hard but it will take a lot of time and especially if you're rushing or want to go as quickly as possible this might be just annoying and stuff like that now 
to pray, uh, I rec recommend praying ranged and uh, if you're doing melee, don't pray turmoil piety since you won't be attacking it that much since you will be pushed backwards quite a lot if you're unlucky. If you're ranging leech range, uh, rigor or eagle eye if you have it. Um, just kill it, it's really simple. It will also attack some sometimes with magic if you're unlucky but mostly it, would, it will attack with range which you are pr uh, fully protected of and uh, it shouldn't be too difficult killing it but as I said if you're unlucky and it keeps pushing you backwards uh, it might be annoying it might may take up some time so if you have it uh, use range and if you don't have it and you have some time left over it's definitely worth it to get some range stuff out because it will save you some time on this boss Now the next one is the behemoth. Now this one is quite easy if you know how to do it. At first, if you just started, you might not realize what you must be doing. You'll see a dead animal or a dead dinosaur you'll see lying on the ground. That's actually his healing for uh, his healing source. So if you stand between the healing source and him and pray magic, and if you have it, use turmoil or piety. He isn't much of a difficulty be because he can har hardly hit you. If you know how to do it, it's quite easy, but if you just start out and you don't know what this boss is all about, it might be difficult. So that's the reason why I only gave it a 1 out of 5. So if you know how to do it, it's like completely simple. So yeah. Next one is Tokash the Blood Chiller. Now it has a pr uh, special attack, but it will be very clear when it uses it because it will say Deep Freeze and uh, I will cover you in ice so um, and otherwise would just use melee and magic attacks just pray mage and you'll be fine the reason why I gave it the 2 out of 5 it is because of the special attack which will uh, hit you 100% damage if you don't get away in time that's the only reason for the rest it's quite easy now next we have the horde now this is kind of a special boss first of all this is also the first abandoned boss in this video so you'll need to be on the abandoned floors if you wanna encounter this boss even though it's in my opinion not really a boss it's just a final challenge uh, to the dungeon what this boss is about is there is one guy which you see on the screen right now which is healing me um, he wants you to close all the five uh, tunnels which are in the room there is one west, two north, and two east, and they can only be closed when the uh, when the guy who's healing you I don't know the name now, but uh, the guy who's healing now says so. He will see, say like the tunnel has been weakened. You can close it now, or um, uh, like like ride the tunnels or something. They, uh, he has some speeches. He will say when you um, when you can close the tunnels. Then you just need to block them. Now, in the meantime, there will all be monsters uh, coming out of these tunnels, and they will start attacking you. And this isn't too hard, it's just quite long. And if you are in any kind of health danger, you can just run to the, the guy who you need to help, and he will heal you. First at the slow ri rate, like 50 or 60 life points every few seconds, which will build up eventually to about 450 life points each few seconds. Now, of course, uh, if, if you are with a higher um, uh, man team, so with a few, um, the the monsters will be higher, so you might get piled, and it is not really advised to go to the guy if you're in an emergency. You should just use food, and um, only use the guy if you are, like, not in an emergency, but just want to heal, heal yourself up. So, yeah. Now, you will need to block five tunnels. If you block the tunnel, no monster will be able to come out anymore. Now, the final challenge is, of course, to kill every monster. But since if the tunnels are not blocked, uh, monsters will still come out. So, yeah, your first challenge is just to block every tunnel once the Defiant Skin Weaver says so. And after that, just kill all the monsters. Now, once you kill all the monsters, um, you just need to talk to the, the Skin Weaver. And he will say that it's, it is safe and you can now safely leave the area. Uh, if you want to pray magic, that's okay. If you have melee armor and you're in a uh, like a five-man team or something, the mages can hit quite a bit. So if you want to pray mage, that's okay. But I advise just to use turmoil and just kill them all at a quite steady rate. Uh, especially if you're soloing, it shouldn't be too hard. So yeah, just use turmoil. Don't pray anything, and you should be fine. Now the next one we have the Hobgoblin Necromancer. This one attacks with either magic or uh, melee. 
from a distance it will al always use magic uh, some people say it's really easy because you can just pray magic and range it from a distance now this is not the case because after a while it will teleport right next to you as you can see on screen right now and will start mailing you as well as ranging and the second thing is it can actually um, turn off your prayers so as you can see right here it just turned off my prayers now I recommend doing this boss with range so when it's teleports away again because when it tele teleports away it will freeze you to the spot it will bind you to the spot and you can't move so if you're doing melee or if you're using melee you can't move for a second you can't attack it so I do recommend doing this with range and if it disables your prayers it isn't that big of a deal because you will have ranged armor so um, yeah the magic hits won't hit that much on you if you want you can bring some food uh, he is a little bit dip a little bit more difficult than the last couple ones but still he isn't that much of a difficulty if you want you can use terminal or something if you're using melee if you're using range i wouldn't recommend using any of the range attack bonus prayers because it will you will need your uh pray a lot just to protect and will switch it out or it will turn it off uh also uh a lot so yeah it isn't too hard now the last one for this video, and also an abandoned one, is the Bulwark Beast. Now the Bulwark Beast, you first need to kill the armor, and you will see the health of the armor at the top of the screen. If you don't have a pickaxe already, you can take one from the room, it is next to the ladder, it should be. This is the lowest level pickaxe, so if you have a higher level pickaxe, of course it would go quicker. You won't deal any damage, so don't even try swinging with your sword, because you won't deal any damage. You'll just be hitting on the armor, and you won't go for it at all. Just uh, pick away the uh, armor, just equip the pickaxe, pick away the armor. Now, for the prayer, uh, I would recommend magic, but it's kind of debatable what you should pray against this one. It's not really one has its strongest attack or something. I just prefer the mage one since I am mostly using melee defense gear, which uh, is uh, where magic is quite strong against melee defense gear. That's why I pray magic, just to take the least damage, but that's just in my opinion. I can't give you, like, um, the best prayer to use or something. Now, as this fight is a little bit longer than the other ones, if you can uh, afford it, just use turmoil if you can. Uh, of course, not when you're using the pickaxe, it won't have any effects. But if you can use turmoil or piety, uh, feel free to soul split anywhere during the fight if you, if you can. Um, if you can't, that will be fine, it shouldn't be too hard. But if you finally broke through the armor, just equip your um, weapon again. Use turmoil if you can, or piety, and start swinging it. Start swinging it. If uh, if you finally broke through the beast of arm, beast's armor, it shouldn't be too hard killing him because he has quite low uh, life points, and you can hit quite a bit on it because it has very low defense if the armor is down. Now this was the last boss of this video. Of course, I will be uploading more of these kind of videos, further bosses, the harder ones, the um, abandoned two and the occult warped eventually uh, of course I can't do them yet I'm 96 dungeoneering right now going for 99 hopefully get some warp done warps done as well so I will be able to make some boss guides about that one as well now this was the pro project I was working on so I hope you enjoyed I put a lot of time in into this video first of all getting all the clips of all the all the boss it was quite a quite a tough challenge for me so I hope you guys pay me back by subscribing, rating, and tell me what you think, because I think this was the uh, the longest guide I've ever made, or the most work, so I hope you guys uh, appreciate it and like what I do. For me, start school tomorrow again, so uh, this was the last guide for the holidays. Um, I hope to make more guides soon, but as I said in my last video... Um, yeah, I will be at school a lot, so I won't be playing RS that much, so uh, the time I get on RS, I won't be able to make guides all the time, So, but I will try my best, and please comment, rate, and subscribe to be notified when I make those guides, and you'll see a long, uh, link on screen right now if I already made a guide, made a next guide for my next boss uh, challenges, so uh, yeah, goodbye!